Good day learners and parents. Um, today I will be talking to you about the prefixes and the suffixes. What are the differences? What are the examples? Okay, so when you look at the word prefix, it comes from the word, um, well, pre is in the word, meaning before. That's one of the easiest ways to remember it. If you're looking at suffixes, it comes after. And very often those are letters that's placed before and after the words respectively um, in order to change the meaning of the word. So in a prefix, if you're looking at a prefix, it's basically a group of letters that is put before the word to change the meaning of the new word. Uh, and I'm going to go through some examples of both with you now. But the suffix is basically a group of letters that comes after um, a word to change the meaning of it. Right, so going through some of the examples of prefixes, let's look at um, absent. Right, the AB in a prefix. Uh, so sent is a word on its own with a totally different meaning. That's now to send someone away. or But being absent means you're not there. So you can see that there's a differentiation in the meanings. There's various examples. You can go through more of them, but I'm just going to go through a few. Um, so if you look at anti or anti, and if you're looking at anti-clockwise, um, so it's the opposite of clockwise. You can even use prefixes for antonyms like, um, let's look at another example of an antonym prefix. So we're looking at mature, uh, mature and immature. Uh, that's an example of an antonym prefix. Uh, let's look at other examples. So if you're looking at um, co, whenever the word co is there, it's very often like togetherness is involved, like collaborate. Um, combine. So you can see that um, certain distinctive prefixes um, indicated a distinctive meaning as well. Okay, looking at hmm, un, like un, so unlikely. So likely is a word on its own. Unlikely is now the total opposite meaning of likely. Um, you're looking at ill, ill-disciplined um, but then disciplined does not mean the same thing so you're looking at prefixes that change the meaning of the word entirely and then on to suffixes so when we're looking at suffixes we I've like I said earlier it is a group of letters that come after a word that changes the meanings of the word so if you're looking at comfortable so comfort on its own is a word but to be comfortable um, means to be able to, to, to feel that certain um, way. And then like um, beauty is a word, but beautiful um, is a word as well. Uh, a child is a word, but childish uh, expresses uh, something that's like something else. So it can be basically um, ability, uh, like a state of something. For example mother and motherhood uh, it can also be uh, full of something um, like meaningful beautiful um, looking at something like like something we normally say the word ish at the end so it kind of associates it with something you know sometimes we make jokes and we say 40 ish um, it's not a it's not a word but sometimes jokes are being said like that but in essence where they get that from is uh, like words like childish it's like something maybe not the same like something um, in, in in terms of science we normally associate ology at the end of most of the scientific terms like geology um, that's an example of a scientific uh, term still looking at um, suffixes uh, so ship is also one of them, indicating like friendship, relationship. Um, that is now the position or the stance of something. Uh, in a certain direction can also be a suffix like um, upwards or skywards or, um, you know, you could say in a downward direction. Those are indicative of direction as well in the form of suffixes. Um, in a suffix, you can also say that um, to be without something. So like you could say, I'm penniless. I, you know, I've got no money. Um, or 
he he's useless uh, it's a very common one or she's useless um or it is useless basically without also indicating something that lacks and then i just really um hope that this enlightens you on prefixes and suffixes so pre prefix before we're remembering that suffix it's after letters that come before and after that also change the meaning of the words that are originally there i hope this um video finds you well cheers